Hey folks, Chris James here again on the beautiful shores of Lake Superior in Superior, Wisconsin at our Faradon corporate office. Um, I want to talk to you today about our Outdoor Gourmet 22 inch walk and uh, kind of teach you a little bit about how to season it and what you need to do. An outdoor walk is a great way to cook. Um, you can cook fish in it with using very little oil. Um, you can cook vegetables, saute them, uh, steaks with just, just a tiny bit of oil on there. It cooks to a nice sear on the outside. It gets, it gets really hot. Uh, so it gets a good good crust on the outside of the meat while still keeping it a nice uh, a nice rear center. Um, so it's a great way to cook a lot of different meals, and not a lot of people are really aware of it. The biggest thing is when you get it, what do you do? How do you you can't just start cooking on this, and not a lot of people know exactly how to do it. So we're going to try to show you exactly what to do. You're going to want to get one of our 19-inch uh, gauntlet glove sets um, or some type of heavy-duty leather gloves for this, um, because there is going to be going to have to do a little process that's going to you're going to have to hold this walk and it's going to get extremely hot so you got to be really careful at how you do it so um there's a there's an oil that's on here that you have to burn off to to season this so what you want to do is you want to kind of sit this under there and you want to turn you want to turn your fire on your burner way up and you're going to get really hot see here it's going to start to get pretty warm it'll start to get cherry red and then it's actually going to catch on fire slightly and that oil is going to start burning off and we're going to rotate it around the edge and keep that fire going as we rotate it around Now you see it starting to catch up. See the flames catching on the where the oil's burning. And then notice how it starts to turn that nice, nice metal look. And we're going to start with slowly rotating it. Keep that kind of going. Obviously, you want to do this somewhere with a lot of ventilation, and try not to breathe the smoke. It's obviously never good to breathe smoke like that, if at all possible. So this is this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky, is where you have the handles here. That's why you have the gloves, obviously. So you want to try to get that down in there like this. Notice how I'm letting it rest on the holders of the wok so that you don't have to have your hands on it all the time because these gloves will get really hot. It'll actually come through the gloves on you. Um, so you, like I said, you just have to, be, you have to be cognizant of it and careful. You see that we're getting a little bit more flame there. Try to get those to connect. We're going to continue this process all the way around the the walk. Those, those burn in real nice. And again, this is going to get super hot, so you want to touch it as little as possible and just make sure that as you have this process going, you keep it right down in that flame so that it stays stays burning all the way around. And now we should be able to start twisting it again.
folks, if you see here, you get this little bit of rainbow look in there. When you start getting that, you want to get this all the way to this blue color like we talked about before, and that's kind of the, it'll turn that rainbow color just before it gets to that, uh, getting to the point of having that. You have to move it around in different parts of the flame also, just to keep it, make sure it's uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So now we've got the ring all the way around it done. We're going to flip it up. We're going to let it get hot, and it should do the same thing from the inside out. This is going to take right around 30 minutes, give or take, depending on your conditions. It's a little windy here today on the water, so it's taking a little bit longer today. Uh, we shortened the video, obviously, to show you um, the process, but not necessarily make you sit here and watch the whole thing as it happens. You just keep turning it like I talked about. You can see here it's starting to smolder and smoke on the middle, and then we'll it'll catch on fire in just a second again and start to burn that off. Again, stay on the downwind side of it if, if at all possible. You know, you don't want to breathe that smoke. So as you can see, we've just finished off burning our, our bottom off and kind of mating everything up. So now everything has that kind of a gunmetal look to it. And uh, it's, it's all the oil has burned off of it. So now what, what you would typically do is you're going to want to take some, uh, some, some peanut oil and take and rub it on, turn your, turn your flame off and take and... Um, spray peanut oil or take it on a, a cloth with your gloves and just kind of gently work it into the metal so it takes a nice polish and then um, put your heat back on and basically you're going to just just continue to season that in there and then now it's ready to cook though you can actually go ahead and once you've done that you can pretty much put put your oil in here and it's ready to cook so hopefully that helps you understand the process of what has to go on whenever you um, Whenever you season in a wok, and uh, again, it's a great way to cook it. You can cook pasta on it, you can boil water, you can do all kinds of things. Um, but the biggest thing is uh, just understanding how to use it and you know, go online and look for outdoor wok uh, cooking recipes, or even wok recipes in general. It's the same principle indoor or outdoor. Appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a great day.